Goodness gracious, if you love tacos as much as I do, then you have to watch this video right now. What's up guys, I am Jared Davis. And I'm Galen Parker. And we run the Davis Group here in Richmond, Virginia. If you've not already done so, feel free to like and subscribe below so that you can stay up to date with some of our other food reviews. Jared, where are we about to grub at right oh now? Oh my goodness. If you watch some of our other reviews, you see that we love tacos. We do a lot on tacos, but this place is very near and dear and special to my heart. It's Torchy's Tacos. If you are a Texan watching this, then you already know what's up. But if not, you're probably realizing, huh, what is this? I'm seeing them pop up around town. If you're already from here, Carytown, short pump, Midlothian, they all have torchies. This is a Texas spot, but the owner is a native to actually Monument Avenue. Son of the city. So, this place, not quite your authentic Mexican fare, but such a cool spin on tacos. We cannot wait to show you what they have. Let's roll. So while we wait for the tacos, we have to give an honorable mention, and by honorable mention, I mean you have to order this every time you come here, to their queso dip. Because if you look at this, I don't know if you can see, Mike, it has chorizo in it, guacamole in it, some cilantro, a little bit of hot sauce. You will not find better cheese sauce or cheese dip anywhere in Richmond. Also, margaritas. Oh, we gotta get some live roll here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, the guy, that, the guy that owns Nightingale Ice Cream, Sandwiches. By the way, oh, yeah. How's it going? our next video, are you still filming? Our next video is going to be on ice cream. We're going to visit this guy. So I know this is a taco Next video. Wednesday I give you a tour. That's one of the best guys in Richmond. You'll see him in our next video. So queso get, get it. Margaritas, they have houses, they have frozens. You can do flavors. I got a strawberry, he's got a peach. You can no go rocks. rocks. You can do all the things, lots of cocktails. Tacos are coming, but we just wanted to make sure we brought out great margaritas, great queso dip. Tacos are coming in a sec. All right, Galen, you want to start it off? With All right, I'm going to start. Uh, I love the Republican. That's this one right here. Uh, what you're seeing right there, that is a split in half uh, sausage. Mm. Uh, now so you've like, got... What's, what's it? Is the cheese in it? Poblano? What's in the uh, sausage? I believe it's poblano cheese, and then you top it with Colby Jack cheese. Mm. And then you also add on top of that uh, mild salsa. It is delicious. All right. Uh, then I got the trailer park, which basically is just like a strip of uh, cut fried chicken mm. uh, that you topped on there. There is some sort of sauce under Underneath, but I'm not sure what it is. I'll have to look it up. But both of them have always been magnifique. So his trailer park actually can get done trashy, they call it, which has queso dip all over it. So I don't know if you did that. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, these aren't traditional tacos. Like I said, this isn't the place if you look at some of our other videos where you're going for legitimate you know, Spanish style tacos. This is gonna be a spin. So mine's actually Marsala fried chicken. This is a special. Uh, it's got like some mango sauce and some other sauce on it. They have about six different sauces you can get. The poblano is my favorite. And then if you look over here, this is called the Wrangler. So they do breakfast tacos all the time. So this one is gonna be eggs, potatoes, cheese, and brisket. All right, and then honorable mention to Mike's, even though he's off camera. He's got a chicken fajita, pretty standard fare. They're delicious. And then I believe that's the Baja shrimp. So again, it's got its own sauce, some pickled onions. So a huge variety. Check out the menu online. So this is almost like a curried fried chicken. It said Marsala, so yeah, like an Indian fried chicken almost. Think about that. I don't know if an Indian restaurant has Marsala chicken that they fry. Hmm, but yeah, trademark. So essentially think Indian tikka masala, but sat in a deep fryer and then put on a taco. That's why this place is so special, yeah. right? Because you're just going to see stuff you're not going to see regularly. I'm going to take this. I'm going to scoop this. Mmm, about to put some queso in there. I'm going to drop it okay. on there. Uh, if you're not eating this, you're making a mistake with your life. <laughs> if your did. taco doesn't look like this, you've made a mistake today. So, what I like about that, you're getting a little hint of the Diablo. There's some peppers in there. There's a savoriness to the chicken that you would think sometimes like they just do like a chicken finger and it's a little bland, but it's definitely not. It's very juicy. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And they do corn and flour tortillas here. I believe they hand make their corn. Ooh. 
size of tacos, right? I feel like it should be mentioned when sometimes you go to these places, you get a taco that's about this big, and you gotta eat like five or six of yep. to really be full. Two is probably the max, I think. Two is plenty, and actually, to be honest, you could do two even without queso dip. Yep. We just wanted to go all in on this video, obviously, to show you, so. All right, I'm gonna hit this Wrangler, that way we can wrap this video up, and you're not here with us all day. So let's hit this thing. Again, if you like breakfast tacos, where else in Richmond? I mean, look at all the egg. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, there's more egg than tortilla. It's falling apart. You got the brisket, you got the cheese. We're gonna get that poblano on there. The potatoes are kind of wrapped in the egg, like a omelet almost. We're gonna get in there. Right, here we go. Juicy. Mm. Like it? Man, that's how I always feel about the Republican. It's like, every time I go, I always get it. I'm never disappointed. Anytime people are like, oh, I don't know if I like it, I'm like, I don't know if I like you. Outstanding. No political affiliation, I'm just trying to eat my lunch. I don't know how many other places you can get breakfast tacos, let alone breakfast tacos all day. Look at that, yep, there's cheese in there's that cheese sausage. That? So cheese on top, cheese in the sausage. Mmm. All right. The people have probably seen enough of us eating. We always do the thing, right? We're gonna rate tacos. It. Out of five tacos. Out of five tacos, what are, we, what are you giving it, Galen? I'm actually gonna give it a five. Okay. Yo quiero Taco Bell. And sometimes I give stuff like a four, but this is just so unique. Everything that I'm eating right now, this is a five out of five. Yo quiero Taco Bell. You gotta come, you gotta do the things. I do think there's some things on the menu that aren't a five. So if you come and you get something that's not here, and you think, hey, maybe this is a three or a four, give it a shot. Find your tacos here because they have jerk chicken, they have salmon, they have so many different things going on that you could get something and maybe it's just not up your alley or it doesn't hit quite as well. But if you're going for any of the breakfast tacos, that trailer park, oh man, that fried chicken, anything you see with that, Republican, knock it out, come to Torchies. Again, three locations in Richmond, Short Pump, Carytown, Midlothian. Anything else you want to say on closing? No, this is delicious. If you have not had an opportunity, please do it. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Stay up to date with what we're eating. If you have a suggestion, you're like, oh my God, you guys are crazy. You've not been to this location. Mm. Let us know in the comments. Send us a DM, Galen and Jared at Central Via Realty. We will eat at your place. If you send us a good one, Ooh, yeah. we'll bring you with us. That's right, that's right. This has been another episode of Living in Richmond. Again, if you're moving to the area, if you're already in the area, if we can help you with any of your real estate needs, get with us. Or if you just want to come hang out and eat some tacos, feel free to reach out. Have a good one.